My name is Cardo Siddiq, I'm 17 and I'm a centre back for Crystal Palace. I was brought up in West London, Ealing, and my parents were brought up in Kurdistan, moved here. Yeah, I grew up in a decent neighbourhood. There was a fair bit of distractions around, but I think I'd give the credit to my parents' upbringing, keeping me on a straight path, which was good. I started my high school experience not in the greatest of manners. I didn't get into the school I wanted to get into, where all my friends would go. Uh, instead, I got accepted into my sixth choice. I didn't know anyone there, we weren't in the greatest parts of the area. After year, I finally got accepted in the school that I wanted to go into. This opened up more pathways for me, raised my confidence, I was with my friends and from then on it just went uphill. I first started playing football at the age of five, where I went into Sunday League with a local team in Grief called LNIA. From then, I spent many years with them, won many competitions, cups, leagues, and till the age of 14 where I got signed with Crystal Palace after a one-week trial. My favourite part of playing Sunday League with LNIA was the competitive nature of the club and the football players and the many achievements we got over the years. The day I got scouted was a very tough day. I played one match in the morning, one in the afternoon and one in the evening and I was very surprised when he came up to me. I wasn't expecting him to be there but after that he invited me to a one-week trial with Crystal Palace Academy. I was full of excitement and happiness because this was the first time a Premier League club had asked me to come on a trial with them. First time a Premier League club was interested in me. Throughout my many years of playing, I had been in and out of academies. I've had many setbacks with academies and trials and not been accepted. I went on trial with the likes of Barnet, Watford, Brentford. This all had a very negative effect on my mentality as a young player. One of my worst setbacks was my time at Barnet where I was put on trial twice. The first time not being accepted the second time being there for six months and being kicked out at the end and the only given reason was that I couldn't do many kick-ups. After this setback with Barnet, I was in a very bad place, not in the greatest of moods as expected. But what really helped me through these times was the effect of my parents who brought me back onto my feet, uh, helped motivate me, especially my dad, who got me very determined, he took time out of his work to take me to football, practice, training, got me better and better until I secured this trial with Crystal Palace. I still remember the nervousness and anxiety on my first Crystal Palace day at training. However, I impressed and I did very well, as I did the second day as well. After this, I was invited to play my first match with Crystal Palace against an older age group, where I caught the eyes of many coaches. After the match, I was pretty confident in my performance and I was abruptly called over to the coach's office, where I was told to my happiness that I'd be offered a contract with Crystal Palace. On the journey back with my dad, after the match, I didn't really speak much. I was just shocked at how I was offered a contract at such short notice. I was really just expecting another six months trial like I did with Barnet, but this was not the case. Having told my dad, it was a really positive feeling because I felt like I'd made him proud after all these months of hardship. Throughout my non-professional career, I was mostly played in midfield. However, as I was signed by Palace, they noticed my great strengths and attributes in defending. Therefore, they moved me into centre-back and ever since that, I've excelled in defending and my role as a centre-back and I've just improved as a player overall. Since I've made the change, I don't think I would look back. For the future, I think my ultimate target would be to be the first ever Kurdish professional footballer in England. I want to make my country and people proud and I think the best way to do this is to try my hardest to break into the first team. In order to accomplish these goals, I'm going to have to take every opportunity that passes me, leave it all out on the field and every training session work as hard as possible.